Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. In this video, we're gonna talk about Gina Mai hiring a powerhouse attorney, Randall Kessler. Now, according to reports, it is said that Jeannie had decided to hire Randall Kessler because she doesn't want GC to have joint custody. Now, if you're not aware, on September 14th, it was reported that GC had filed for a divorce from Jeannie Mai, citing irreconcilable differences and family ties um, problems, right? When you file for a divorce, you basically found that he wanted um, joint custody and terms and other terms and conditions that the court sees fit to work out for the child. So you can tell that when he filed for divorce, he had his daughter best interests at heart. However, it seems as though there might be one person who is just focused on what they're feeling at this point and not what is best for their child. And that person is Jeannie Mai. And if what these reports are alleging about Jeannie, this would actually prove what I had said initially about her being a narcissist because I understand that she's hurt. She's a human being and yes, she's going to be hurt. And the sources are saying, that's a media outlet, they're saying that she wanted to fight for her marriage. She loves Jizzy and she wanted to fight for her marriage. But you cannot fight for your marriage when you weaponize your child because this move is genie weaponizing Monaco, okay? Because if you're gonna say, you know, you don't want your husband to have joint custody of the child after you've made such beautiful posts on Instagram, then genie is really showing her ass and proving why GZ filed for a divorce from her. She's also confirming what I had said. She's all about PR and not reality. She was an aesthetic wife. She really wasn't about physically being a wife, right? Because you have praised this man to be such a amazing father who got up on Father's Day to take care of your beautiful family while you slept. It was the second year in your marriage and you could not make preparations for your husband on Father's Day. Your husband had to be making that preparation for everyone. And you didn't stop there. When his book was out, you had your daughter praying on Instagram a beautiful family and daddy and give daddy the strength and daddy's the best dad. And all of a sudden, the best dad is not entitled to joint custody. So what she's saying here basically is this. You've hurt me. You've hurt me so deeply and so bad that I'm going to weaponize your daughter against you because... I want you to feel the pain that you're making me feel. And this is not going to turn out good for Jeannie Mai. If anything, it is proven why Jeannie should not have joint custody because in this case, she's giving unstable, she's giving unwell. And I have to say this because I honestly feel for the girl. You know, when I saw her on Sherry Shepard's show, when I hear the break in her voice, the emotion, the tremor, I felt for her. So I understand that what she's going through can be nothing but a nightmare. But at the same time, 
it does not give her the right to be weaponizing an innocent child. You're hurting, honey. Get yourself a therapist. You don't need a powerhouse attorney because you know what? The legal system, it is changing and there's nothing you have against Jeezy for him to lose joint custody of his daughter. But Jeezy has a lot that he could use against you for you to only get visitation rights because you have given the internet too much of you at this point that it is easy to use your own videos against you to label you as unstable. Am I hoping that this is what happens to her? No, 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 no. But I'm keeping it real and I'm calling a spade a spade and a shovel a shovel. It is a lot easier to label her as unstable than Jay-Z. It is a lot easier for her to lose joint custody than Jeezy, because if you again look at how the um, divorce was filed, it was filed with the best interest of the child. And if you look at everything that she has been saying about the father, she has always dubbed that man to be the perfect dad. So how did the good guy go from being good, perfect, wonderful, God-given, to all of a sudden, is not good enough to have joint custody. Like, Jeannie, come on, girl. Don't do this to yourself. Don't do this to your little girl. Take your emotions out of it in this sense when it comes to the child. Do not weaponize an innocent child against her father. Women out here have real challenges with these issues. You don't. And you don't want to know what it is like to have such a challenge. Do not do this. Get yourself a high-powered therapist and just try and end the divorce. Walk away. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. At this point in time, you may think that you cannot love again or you may never find love again. But if you give yourself that chance and if you love on yourself, and heal, you definitely and most certainly will. And that's all I have to say about that. Guys, let me know what are your thoughts. While you're at it, show your girl some love and see you all later. Bye, guys.